Foreign Minister Gemba visited New York from September 19th to 24th, 2011, to attend the 66th United Nations General Assembly. In the video message recorded just before departing from Narita International Airport, Minister Gemba told as follows. で、during the stay in New York, as a co-chair, Minister Gemba led discussions of such meetings as an interactive session of the United Nations High-Level Meeting on Nuclear Safety and Security, the third foreign ministerial meeting of NPDI, and the ministerial-level side event on the Millennium Development Goals. He also attended meetings concerning the Middle East, Africa, and the G4 Ministerial Meeting on Security Council Reform, among others. The United Nations High-Level Meeting on Nuclear Safety and Security was held to support the effort of the international community to reinforce nuclear safety and gather such momentum. Participants referred to the effects of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant accident, nuclear safety, nuclear security, and strengthening emergency measures, among others. Prime Minister Noda delivered an address at the opening session, and then Minister Gemba served as a co-chair with the Brazilian minister at one of the two interactive sessions of this high-level meeting. At the interview with the Japanese press after the session, Minister Gemba explained what he'd said at the meeting. を、this request of Minister Gemba was incorporated in the chairman's summary statement that became one of the outcomes of the meeting. Then the minister co-chaired the third foreign ministerial meeting of MPDI, Non-Proliferation and Disarmament Initiative, with the Australian foreign minister. At the outset of the meeting, Minister Gemba referred to the noticeable progress made by MPDI since its establishment in September of last year. He mentioned developing a draft standard nuclear disarmament reporting form as an example of such progress to make concrete proposals for building a bridge between nuclear weapon states and non-nuclear weapon states and lead international discussion in pursuit of a world of decreased nuclear risks. The minister also commended that the MPDI had become internationally recognized through its active discussions at the past two gatherings. Minister Gemba also participated in the seventh conference on facilitating the entry into force of the CTBT and appealed to the states that had yet to sign or ratify the CTBT to do so at the earliest possible time. Nearly 400 participants from governments, international organizations, 
private entities and NGOs gathered at the ministerial level side event on the Millennium Development Goals, MDGs. Following his opening remarks, Minister Gemba gave a speech on the outcomes of the MDG's follow-up meeting held in Tokyo this June. Also, the minister presented Japan's efforts to achieve the MDGs, including the highly innovative partnership with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to fight polio in Pakistan. We have decided to provide Pakistan with a long note, approximately 5 billion yen, which is roughly 65 million US dollars, for a large scale polio eradication program. The loan is being an opinion, an innovative financing approach, a loan conversion mechanism. Upon a successful outcome, the Gates Foundation will repay the loan on behalf of the Pakistani government. This is a very new, highly innovative form of partnership with a private foundation. Japan's leadership to address efforts and discussions regarding MDGs in the international community was highly appreciated by various participants. Minister Gemba also exchanged views on a wide range of issues regarding the Middle East. At the G8 foreign ministers' meeting, participating countries and institutions agreed to cooperate in supporting the historical changes taking place in the Middle East and Northern Africa. At the high-level meeting on Libya and at the foreign ministers' meeting with Libya, Minister Gemba expressed that Japan will contribute to the efforts of creating a new Libya. At the foreign ministers' meeting with Egypt, Minister Gemba expressed Japan's will to support Egypt's efforts for various reforms. At the new Silk Road ministerial meeting concerning Afghanistan, the participating countries generally supported the concept to connect Afghanistan to the regional economy for its medium to long-term stability and regional growth. At the second Japan Gulf Cooperation Council GCC, strategic dialogue, Japan and the GCC countries came to a basic agreement to resume the negotiations on FTA. At the ministerial meeting of the G4 countries on the Security Council reform, the ministers reviewed the G4's efforts during the 65th United Nations General Assembly. Well, thank you. The ministers agreed that based on the strong support for the G4's initiative, shown by a wide coalition of member states, the G4 countries will work in close cooperation with other member states in a spirit of flexibility during the 66th session. During his visit, Minister Gemba actively held bilateral meetings with many countries, especially at the Japan-U.S. foreign ministerial meeting. Minister Gemba stated that the Japan-U.S. alliance is the linchpin of Japan's foreign policy, even in the new cabinet, and showed his intention to further deepen and enhance the alliance with the three pillars of security, economy and cultural, and the people-to-people -people exchanges. Secretary Clinton responded that the U.S. is committed to further strengthening the alliance. At the Japan-Pakistan foreign ministerial meeting, Minister Gemba expressed his condolences to the victims of the recent flooding disaster that had struck the southern part of Pakistan, and informed that in addition to the provision of emergency relief goods worth approximately 450,000 U.S. dollars, Japan newly decided to provide emergency grant aid of 10 million U.S. dollars. At the Japan-Russia foreign minister's meeting, Minister Gemba expressed his will to build appropriate relations with Russia as partners in the Asia-Pacific region, recognizing their importance. At the Japan-Indonesia foreign minister's meeting, the two ministers confirmed that the two countries are strategic partners that share the common values and strategic interests. At the Japan-China foreign minister's meeting, both ministers agreed to do their utmost to deepen their mutually beneficial relationship based on common strategic interests and improve public sentiment, 
taking into account that next year marks the 40th anniversary of the normalization of diplomatic relations between the two countries. At the Japan-UK foreign ministers meeting, the ministers affirmed that both of them commonly place importance on security, prosperity and values, as expressed through their speeches. The ministers agreed to further strengthen bilateral relations between Japan and the UK that share the common values. At the Japan Republic of Korea foreign ministers meeting, Minister Gamba stated that Japan and the Republic of Korea share fundamental values in the Asia-Pacific region. He also stated that the two countries share vital interests. Minister Gemba held a meeting with the Administrator of the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, Helen Clark. Cheers. Cheers. Minister Gemba held an Africa reception at which he received African cabinet members as guests. The minister explained Japan's plan to host the 5th Tokyo International Conference on African Development, TICAD 5, in 2013. During his first official foreign trip as foreign minister to attend the UN General Assembly, Minister Gemba actively engaged himself in exchanging views and establishing rapport with foreign leaders on various occasions, including a reception hosted by Prime Minister Noda and his wife. Then the minister headed back to Japan.